Hi, my name is Dara. I'm a technical support engineer here at Simply Nook, and today we're going to look at how to install a two and a half inch drive on a tall chassis nook. So before we begin, you want to make sure that you are ESD safe. You have a couple of screwdrivers to work on the nook with. You have your screws that come out of this handy dandy little bag inside the nook box. And of course you want to have your two and a half inch drive. So now I'm going to begin. I'm going to turn the unit upside down and orientate it in a way that's very handy for me. And I've already taken off, well, I've already unscrewed all four corner screws on the base plate, so we can now just lift off the base plate. And we want to detach the SATA cable here by lifting up the little clip here. And carefully like that. And just pulling the cable out. Just like that. So now we want to take these little rubber feet, so to speak, out by pushing them through from the other side. Just like that. One in the corner here, and one behind here. There we have them all out, and now we can just place them to the side. So now you want to take your SSD, usually with the label facing downwards, and you want to slide it in the back here like such, so that it connects with the SATA connector on this side. Just push it in, it'll hold, as you can see. And now we want to put in our four screws to make sure that that SSD does not go AWOL. Now we have the SSD or other two and a half inch drive installed. That's not budging, that's not going anywhere. So I'll bring the unit back here and we want to attach the SATA cable again to the SATA connector here. So we want to lift that up and make sure it is well out of the way so we can slide in this ribbon cable. And make sure, of course, to have the pins here facing towards this B key SATA M.2 slot. So the pins will face this direction. Now that I have that in, you want to push down on the clip to secure it. It might help if you get a screwdriver just to gently push down on the other side as well. Both sides need pushing down. And now you have that SATA cable installed. It won't come loose easily. And then we can put our base plate back on top, or technically on the bottom of our nook. And then screw down the four screw corners. Fantastic. And now, as we say in Ireland, now we're sucking diesel. Thank you very much.